Welcome to Crazy Singing, my name is Mark and I'm covering every singer in the world and their craziest or best vocal lines and today it is time for Frank Sinatra, a remarkable voice that cannot be matched. His voice shined in clarity, projection and beauty no matter what part of his range he was singing in, like this mind-blowing powerful low note that earns spot number 7. It's time. Lots of male singers can reach this pitch, this F2, but it's the tone here, the vocal power that absolutely just cuts through the recording. And if you listen with me again, you'll see what I mean when I say he perfected his voice to a point in which he sounded like his own instrument, almost like a bass trombone in this case. Clearly it is the timbre and the power that defines him as a very tone, not the low pitches in itself. But his low range being extremely polished doesn't mean he couldn't get beautiful soft middle register tones just as polished or just as remarkable. I just love the way he's almost approaching falsetto here, something very rare for Frank Sinatra recordings, while still preserving a tonal connection in the entire phrase. Clearly, he mastered his high range, like we'll also see on spot number five. Show me the way. Incredible to think he's belting this effortlessly in the tenor vocal break, adding vibrato and releasing the note so beautifully. Usually in my videos I like to point out whether a singer is consistent in live shows or not, but with Frank this one's sort of a no-brainer because of the way he recorded, which is basically live, so all his studio recordings actually just reflect on his live vocal consistency, since there were no studio tricks of any sorts, it was just at most recording the entire thing again with the entire orchestra again and then maybe choosing the best take but that was the end of it. So all of his studio work reflects on his amazing live vocal consistency and his amazing technique, which is something that just doesn't happen anymore nowadays with all the studio tricks that are available. Clearly, the level of control he achieved was quite insane. Like this clip will also show you. J The entire thing is mind-blowing in terms of control, he changes the volume so much, doesn't even take a breath for 17 seconds, and then proceeds to project a beautiful E2, a note even lower than the already incredibly low one on spot number 7. Of course, it could go lower, but we'll see that later on the list. For now, I want to bring up this amazing vocal line that really showcases Sinatra's vocal class. I say I mean, just how refined does that sound? Without going as high as the note on spot number five, he manages to convey so much emotion into this register, it is incredible. And that vibrato is just crazy, almost as crazy as our next spot, which has Frank pushing the limits of his voice as a very tone by singing a note that's usually reserved for tenors in opera. Heaven. This one really convinced me that Frank had some sort of background of operatic training, which is something that I could later on confirm with research, because his technique to approach that note is just superb, it's controlled, it's not shouted, and it is exactly how you're taught to do it in opera lessons. By the way, that recording is extremely rare, so we don't have like the official date for it, but most comments agree it's somewhere between 1951 and 1954. Now, what is crazy interesting about this is that Frank suffered a vocal hemorrhage in 1950. This is just one of the best vocal recoveries or comebacks that I've ever seen. He was basically at his peak even after such a horrible accident. And even if this particular high note was recorded before 1950, Frank still had one of the best vocal comebacks of the history of music in my opinion. Just a notable vocal recovery, I mean he recorded some of his best work after this, actually a lot of time after this because spot number one is almost from the 70s and it sounds like this. Not only is this one absurdly low, way lower than all our previous spots, but it's also a great example of Frank's incredible diction and interpretation. Loneliness goes whenever two can dream or dream together. 
it just sounds mind-blowingly powerful. Let me know if you agree with this list and subscribe for more crazy singing.